Let's look over this math worksheet together just to make sure we understand what we're doing here. So I'm just gonna read you the directions and then we'll, we'll look at the example problems together. Thinking about addition on the number line can make some problems easier. To add 95 plus 88 on the number line, we start at 95 and move 88 units to the right. It's easy to add a number to 100. So we can start by moving five units from 95 to 100. To add a total of 88, we still need to move 83 more units to the right. From 100, we move 83 more units to 183. 95 plus 88 is the same as 95 plus 5 plus 83. So 95 plus 88 is 183. So I just want to break this down just a second for you. So if we have 95 plus 88, we, we're looking at this and saying, well, 95 is really close to 100. We just have to add 5 to get to 100. So if we are already adding 5 here, that means that we're going to take away 5 from the 88 because in total we're going to add 88. But if we first are going to add 5 to get to 100, we're taking 5 away from this 88 that we're going to add. So if we take 5 away from 88, we get 83. So that's where that number came from. Now let's look at the next example problem. Let me zoom in just a little bit better so you can see. We have 196 plus 36. Well, we look at these numbers and think, what are we close to? 196 is very close to 200. How close is it? Well, it's four away. So that's why they've added four there. So if they're adding four here to get to 200, that means that of the 36 that they're going to add, they've already added four. So that means this would be 32. So they only had to add 32 to get here. Now that helps you know what's 200 plus 32. And that's your answer right there. And that's, you know, that ends up being a much easier question. 200 plus 32 is easier than 196 plus 36. So let's look at the next one that you'll have to do on your own. So we have 100, or not 100, we have 880 plus 88. So 880 is really close to 90, right? So first we have to figure out, not 90, 900. So first we have to figure out how much is the difference between 880 and 900. So what would that answer be? Whatever that answer is, whatever is, you could think of it like 900 minus 880, or you could think, how many more do I have to add to 880 to reach 900? And you can kind of think about it like if you have 80, you're trying to get this, these tens to reach another 100. So what would you have to add to 80 to get to 100? That's your answer. Once you've figured out that, then this number here needs to be taken away from that 88 because now you've used up some of it and now you have some left to add. So then you have to figure out what is that? What is 88 minus this number? That's your answer here. And then you're adding 900 to whatever this number is to get your answer. Hopefully that will help you get all of these done. I think they're pretty much the same, but down here on the back, we have some problems where we don't have a number line, but you need to use the number line in your head. Really imagine that number line and think of where you could go. What is 193 close to? What is 496 close to? What is 598 close to? So keep thinking of those number lines as you do those problems too.